Number 63. A large body of lava from a volcano has stopped flowing and is slowly cooling. The interior of the lava is at 1200 degrees Celsius, its surface is at 450 degrees Celsius, and the surroundings are at 27 degrees Celsius. Letter A. Calculate the rate at which energy is transferred by radiation from one square meter of surface lava into the surroundings, assuming the emissivity is one. So anytime we're talking about uh, conduction, we're basically looking at these two, excuse me, not conduction, radiation, we're looking at these two formulas. Conduction would be this one, all right? So um, the one that we're going to need for part A, they're talking about, you know, uh, radiation occurring between two different temperatures, the surface of the lava to the surroundings. So we're really talking about then the uh, net rate of which energy is being transferred. Remember, that's simply power. And that's going to equal Stefan Boltzmann constant multiplied by the emissivity of the material multiplied by the square area. And then we're going to take the temperature difference between the two. And you have to have these temperatures in Kelvin, not Celsius. So we can basically just plug in, right? The Stefan Boltzmann constant is 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8. The emissivity they told us is 1. The area they also told us is 1. And the temperature difference between the two now, it doesn't, you know, it depends on what you're calculating the rate of. If you're calculating the rate of heat loss from the lava to the surroundings, then your value here would be negative. If you're calculating the rate of heat gain by the surroundings from the lava, then it would be positive. Uh, excuse me, that, yeah, then it would be positive. What am I talking about? So, you know, the, the way that the signs work out are going to be through this term, uh, but don't, you know, don't worry about it. Just plug it in, and then whatever the difference is between these, just plug in the sign at the end, depending upon what you're calculating the rate for. Now, it says from the lava right to the surroundings. So basically, it should be negative. But even if you left that out, it's really not a big deal. Um, so here we're going to have, remember, it has to be in Kelvin. So we have to take the 450 uh, and add 273 to it. So that's going to be 723. So this is 723 to the fourth, then minus the surroundings, which are at 27, add 273 to that, so that's 300 raised to the fourth. And let's just do the calculation. We've got 5.67 times 10 to the negative eight, um, times then parentheses 723 raised to the fourth, minus 300 raised to the fourth. And here we get about 1.5 1.50 or so times 10 raised to the fourth. And that is in uh, watts. Okay. And then I guess if they, you know, they're talking about it, the heat should be lost. Obviously, it goes from hotter to colder. So just plug in the negative sign at the end. Doesn't really, you know, it's fine. It's all good. You guys got this, right? Suppose heat conduction to the surface occurs at the same rate, meaning the one, excuse me, meaning the, uh, rate at which we just found here. Uh, what is the thickness of the lava between the 450 degrees Celsius uh, surface and the 1200 degrees Celsius uh, interior, assuming the lava is the same as, as brick? All right, so here's the conduction formula. Right, the power is going to be equal to the conductivity constant multiplied by the uh, square area. Multiply them by the change in temperature. You can leave this formula now, since it's not raised, those temperatures are not raised any power. You can leave that in Celsius if you like, divided by D, which is the thickness. I want to solve for D, so I'm just going to do a simple cross multiplication. You've seen me do this now, right? Just bring the D out, the P down, and voila, we're done. Now all we need to do is just plug in. So we have the K for brick. That has to be looked up, 0.84. The area they told us is 1. The difference between the two temperatures, again, you know, you can, it doesn't really just do the absolute value or just find the positive answer. So this is going to be 1,200 minus then the 450, okay? One second, 450, and then all divided now by the power, which is what we found before, so which is about 1.50 times 10 to the fourth. And that should now be, let's see, 0.84. Multiplied then by 1,200 minus 450, all then divided by that answer that we had before. And here we go. The thickness is going to be about 0 0.0419 or so.
and that's in terms of meters. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.